Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Barcelona crowd. Now, in today's episode, we've got three more matches to play. The first game against Sporting, and that's going to be in the Champions League group stages, followed by some other matches to play in the league. We've got the next match, which is against Las Palas, and also the game against Alaska Madrid as well to finish off today's episode. Look forward to those three games. Hopefully, should be good matches. Um, hopefully, going to get ourselves some more points as well uh, in both, obviously, the Champions Cup and also the league uh, table as well. Um, so, we'll have to wait and see how we get on, though, in those matches. We will begin the episode off with a pretty strong team, as you can see here. But before before we get into things, if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic. Really do appreciate all the support on this channel and also on these videos as well. It'd be fantastic if you could hit the like button. This is the team we're going to go with for the game against Sporting to open up today's episode. To stake and stance in goal, Semedo, right back, PK, Umtiti and Alba make up the rest of the defence. In front of that, Busquets and Rakitic uh, alongside Iniesta as well with Messi, Suarez and Delafeu at our th uh, front three. So a pretty strong team, very, very happy with that. Obviously, we played a few days ago in the last episode, uh, which obviously means that we are going to have to change things around and bring in a, a slightly fresher side, which happens to be our stronger team. Let's crack on with the game, though, against Sporting and hopefully get ourselves three more points again in the Champions League. Obviously, got three points in the last game. Uh, hopefully, we can make that six out of six after this match. Okay, so here we go for this match now against Sporting. Let's see how we get on in this game. Hopefully, get ourselves three points and a good result as well as what we're going to be going after. Not too sure what to expect from Sporting Lisbon. Haven't really uh, played them too many times before, but we'll get uh, two opportunities to play them obviously in the group stages of the Champions League, and hopefully win both the games if we can. Messi starts in this match as well. Uh, he missed out in the last game, uh, so we'll get a chance now to uh, hopefully get ourselves some goals in this match. Oh, Busquets going pretty close early on. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to wait to see how Messi gets on on that right-hand side. Uh, he has also been in great form, particularly last episode as well, uh, but just gave him a rest in preparation for this game. Rakitic picks it up. On to Messi. It's got to be a goal. Oh, my days. How have we managed that? Saved by the goalkeeper. Thought Messi had done it, thought that was going to be the opening goal. Somehow we've managed to just put it right at the keeper, who saves very comfortably. Messi now to deliver into the box. PK's on there, connects it really well actually, uh, but saved pretty easily there by um, Patricio in goal. Alba from range, oh, hits it so well, but just wide. Really good opportunity, probably our best chance so far of the game, other than obviously the Messi opportunity where he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but really good long-range strike. Sadly, though, just past the post, doesn't quite get on target. Couple of minutes from half-time, still reigns nil-nil, unable to break them down a lot of the time. We've had a couple of chances, but nothing too major, to be totally honest. Uh, we've kept hold of possession pretty well for most of it, passed it round, tried to create some opportunities, but nothing massively clear-cut, still struggling to create a good clear -cut opportunity so far. Approaching the end of the first half, and got to make sure we defend right until the end. Nil-nil half-time, let's crack on straight away to the second second half, hopefully uh, get ourselves at least one goal. Busquets still wins it back. Now to Suarez, across now to Delafeu, who's got a chance on his left foot. Oh, he scores, what a finish that is on his left foot. Delafeu puts us in front inside the opening 10 minutes of the second half. Really, really good strike. I think it's on the half volley there on his left-hand side. And a fantastic bit of play as well across up the front three, and including the midfield as well. Busquets really fighting for it, bringing it forward really well. Uh, Suarez takes over. And look at that for a little chip over across to uh, Delafo, who smashed it past the goalkeeper, and it's now 1-0, uh, 55 minutes into this game. Suarez looking for a chip through here to Rakitic, who makes a great run back to Suarez. A little bit too far behind him, couldn't quite stretch there, and it's cleared again. Starting to turn up the pressure a little bit on Sporting now, having a few good opportunities, keeping hold of possession well. Uh, just got to try and get ourselves a second goal to us a bit more security. Oh, clear it. Oh, no, really good chance, great save. That's why we need a bit of security. We've equalised. 20 minutes left of this game. It's one all sporting score. Frustrating. Really, really frustrating because it's not really deserved, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, in, into an empty net. Passed to Stegen. one all. Got to try and get back in this game now. Darfo, look for a delivery into Suarez. It's a good ball, actually. Ooh, it's the defender that's headed that one towards goal. Didn't need to uh, get Suarez's head on it. In fact, okay, they've put that down as a Suarez header. Pretty sure he wasn't even anywhere near it, was he? Oh, I think it takes a really small touch off him. Yeah, I think it goes through his head. I mean, I don't know whether the ref really saw that, to be honest. I think that's a really harsh one, but probably the correct decision. Okay, two changes, 11 minutes left of this game. We're going to be taking off Iniesta, and uh, we're also going to be taking off Rakitic as well. We'll bring on Paulino and Gomez. Those guys are going to try and freshen up our legs a little bit in midfield. It's starting to get quite tired some of the players, so uh, we are going to make some changes here. 11 minutes to go. Hopefully, that'll allow us to get a second goal, but running out of time a little bit here, so we've got to make sure that if we do manage to find ourselves a goal, that we get it pretty quick. Paulino switching over to Delafeu. Great pass. He's completely freed. Delfeu, oh, fires over the bar. On his left-hand side, needed that one to go in. Into the 90th minute, well into the 90th minute now. Thought it was going to be the winning goal late on. Hasn't happened. Suarez was in the middle. Didn't really know whether he was actually going to be available over the pass. 
I think, to be honest, the game are pretty much over here unless we can get it up to him quickly. Now that's going to be, I think, ref will blow his whistle, draw on the game one all. It's only one point, it's obviously dropping points, but it's not a loss, which is, of course, the main thing. And it will leave us in probably the top two still, to be honest. So not too bad, but obviously wants to get ourselves the three points here. We managed to obviously beat, I think it was Juventus in the last game. Um, so that was a good result. And, and luckily that helps us um, with this result, which obviously isn't the result we're after uh, going into the game. So pretty happy overall, but of course you're always wanting to win matches. So we'll take the point anyway. And uh, it was quite a fairly balanced game. So we probably did just about edge it um, and probably did just about deserve to win. But it was a very, very close game. We didn't create enough chances in the first half in particular. Uh, but let's now move on to the next game against Las Palmas and uh, see how we get on in the league now. Okay, so it's the game against Las Palmas now. This is the team we're going to go with for the match. To say your stats in goal. Sum it up right back. PK, Umtiti and Alba in defence. In front of that, we've got Busquets, Rakitic and Iniesta with Messi, Suarez and Dembele as our front three. So a pretty strong team. Happy with the side. Obviously, Dembele coming in. Uh, Delafeu dropping down to the bench for this game. There's plenty of recovery time as well in between this match and the final game of today's episode as well. Hopefully, going to get ourselves three points this time around. Hopefully, going to get ourselves the win as well. Um, so, we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens in this match. Hoping uh, to put in a good performance. We'll have to see exactly what we get from Las Palmas. I think they have a, a couple of decent players on their side. So, it might be a little bit more of a challenging game than maybe I'd expect. Okay, then. Let's see how we get on in this match against Las Palmas. Hopefully, going to get ourselves the victory that we're after. Right, let's see how we get on. A couple of players, obviously, I'll be quite familiar with here. Remy in particular, um, Halalovic, is it how you pronounce his name? Uh, he obviously came from Barcelona, so I'm very familiar with him. And uh, you'll have to wait and see whether we've got enough quality on our side to beat them. We should do on paper, obviously, the better team by far. Uh, but it's whether we have the performance to back that up as well. Oh, what a chance. What a save by the goalkeeper. Remy gets in front of his man, nearly scoring early on in this game. Such a good start uh, for Las Palmas. Really good delivery as well. Couldn't clear it, and it was nearly 1-0 very early on. Oh, what an interception that is from PK. Prevented it from getting through into the attacker's feet to Sagan came out at the same time. Just managed to uh, win it and it's gone out for a corner. Chance for us to defend something here. We've got to try and clear it away and we have done very well actually. Um, but unable to retain the ball as it got uh, up to Messi sadly. Las Palmas back on the ball again. Looking quite strong actually. Good run from him and again just about getting a tackle in there. And that's kind of been pretty much the first half all over to be honest. Not had that many chances ourselves. Las Palmas having a few good opportunities but so far I've managed to cut them out. Let's get out to Dembele. Dembele coming inside. Oh, lovely play. Dembele still going. He's going to shoot and score. That's fantastic. That's Dembele with the goal as well on his left foot. Ten minutes left of the first half. Winning the game 1-0. That's brilliant play. Is that fantastic uh, triangle there going on between the Barcelona attackers. Uh, managing to outdo the defence and put it into the back of net. Smashes it home. Just Dembele as well on his left-hand side there. Smashes it into the top right-hand corner. Look at this. Lovely bit of play. Suarez little flick on to Dembele. Who continues his run forward. No saving that. Winning the game 1-0. Oh no, Semino, what have you done there? Put it on a plate for them. Luckily, he makes a complete wrong decision in shooting. Should have kept running or at least passed it. Messi, whoa, lovely overlap there from Semedo. Semedo's still going, look for a cut back here into Suarez. Oh, it's off the post and then it's 2-0 now. Suarez doubles that lead and the floodgates might start to open in the second half now as well. Suarez scores just before half time and we've managed to add to the scoreline even further. Good little cut back actually, fantastic run as well from Semedo by the way. He makes a fantastic overlap there. Look at that, really good little layoff from Messi. Wanted the cutback, Rakitic was in there, but Suarez is the one that it falls to, off the post and into the back of the net, it's 2-0. Messi going to play a short corner here, Iniesta now going to look for a delivery, it's going to be to Dembele on the edge of the box, he goes for a header, and actually it connects it really, really well, don't think it was ever going to go in the back of the net, but he gets on target at least. That's it for the first half, still won the game 2-0, obviously got ourselves a clean sheet at the moment somehow, uh, Las Palmas actually looked really good in the opening stages of this first half, but we managed to take the lead, get ourselves two goals, and uh, get ourselves a decent advantage, which we, which we can now take into the second half. Let's see what we can add to it, hopefully we can. Uh, aiming for a few more goals still. Rakitic wins it back onto Messi. Messi now back onto Rakitic, who's made a good run forward. Rakitic shoots and scores. It's now 3 0. 62 minutes in, our first shot of the second half, and we've scored it through Rakitic. Just very, very clinical in this game so far. Great bit of play yet again. Rakitic winning it back off the, I think, midfielder. Uh, played it onto Messi, and then he just passes it through into him. Nice, simple pass. Uh, nice, simple move, to be honest. All comes from a mistake from the uh, players. And we've managed to capitalise that and score a third goal, which should now give us the three points, really. Good opportunity for Las Palmas. Oh, thought we were going to get one back there. 
Great run, managed to beat our defender to it, just didn't quite have enough curl on that left footed strike to uh, find the back of the net. Remy will now be substituted as well for them, and uh, they will make that change about 20 minutes left. We're also going to make some changes, I think, ourselves now, try and freshen up the team a little bit. Not that I need to rest players, but just because I want a bit more energy in midfield. All three changes, Delafeo, Gomez, and Paulinho all to come. We'll take off Rakitic, Dembele, and uh, Iniesta as well. They'll all get rested, and uh, we'll also try and you know, freshen up the team with those changes. Um, we don't really need to make any changes, to be honest, because there is such a long rest. There's nearly two weeks before the next game. Uh, I think it's some sort of international break, I'm assuming. So, uh, yeah, we don't really need to make so many changes, but we're going to do it anyway, try out a few more players, and hopefully try and enter the scoreline with a fresh legs. Still going here, Las Palmas. Oh, we've messed up in defence there. It's allowed him to finish off pretty simply. Don't know what PK and Antiti are doing. I think they get tangled up in each other, to be exactly honest. 30 minutes left. Lost the clean sheets, and they've pulled one back. It's going to be probably too late, I think, there, but it's a substitute that scores it. And uh, you can just see that PK. I think it's Umtiti. In fact, no, it's uh, Semedo there getting messed up, those two. Not even involved in the defending whatsoever. Umtiti can't beat his man to it. And, uh, yeah, they slot home. Disappointing defending, uh, but it is now 3-1. We should still be fine with 13 minutes to go. Well played, Delafeo. Still going as well. Delafeo looking for a cutback here. Suarez has to make it four. Oh, he does. Fantastic. As simple as that. We've got another one. Uh, we've restored our three-goal lead in front of Las Palmas. Suarez scores it. And it's all come again, really, from just winning the ball high up the pitch. It's a mistake, really, from the defence. Allowing us to get really too close to them. And it's a poor touch here. Delafeo just has to play it across. And then Suarez can just use the players there that he has around him to just curl the ball around them. And in the back of the nets, it's 4-1 now. And we've extended our lead or got ourselves back into the lead that we were in before just a few moments ago. That's two for Suarez now. Ten minutes to go. Can he find himself a hat-trick, maybe? What a pass through. Could it be 4-2? It is. Wow, I've suddenly got end-to-end -end, uh, from this game. It's now 4-2. Las Palmas put themselves uh, again within just two goals of us now. Uh, with eight minutes left. There could still be another few goals the way that it's going now. Uh, it does seem like there's going to be a couple more goals left in this match. I'm hoping one of them is going to be a Suarez hat-trick, but sad to have conceded two goals here. Maybe should have conceded in the first half anyway, to be honest. We did get away with it pretty easily. Delafeu now looking for a cutback. It's going to be to Paulinho to shoot. Oh, thought we were going to have our three-goal uh, lead restored yet again there through Paulinho. The strike was okay. It takes a huge deflection out for a corner. And it's going to be messy to play it short to Delafeu. Edge of the box, maybe to Busquets. Not great at shooting, neither is Umtiti, but we'll give it a go anyway. Umtiti thought he'd scored. Again, saved by the goalkeeper. Suarez back heels it to Paulinho to shoot. Oh, it's right at the goalkeeper. Hits it so well. Didn't quite have the accuracy, though, to find the top corner. And it's another corner for us to try and find a, a fifth goal if we can. Delafeu again onto the edge of the box. It's always open with Busquets. Now a chance to play it into Gomez and saved easily. That's it. A 4-2 victory. Very happy with that. Obviously, we're happy to get the three points here. Um, it's sad that, obviously, we've conceded two goals. But six goals in the match in total. And certainly scoring some more goals uh, in this game as well. Four for us. Suarez getting himself two of those goals as well. So close to a hat-trick. Obviously, had a few op other opportunities which we would have liked to have taken. But overall, Happy to get the three points, and uh, that obviously leaves us in a good position in the league now. 11 shots, 10 on target as well, so pretty clinical, pretty accurate most of the time. Uh, so happy overall with that. Again, I would have liked a clean sheet if possible, but not always possible in those sort of end-to-end -end type matches. So although we're not top of the league, Real Madrid obviously still uh, top of the league. We are now second, or remain second in fact, um, just behind them. Three points behind them, they've won every single match so far this season, uh, which is obviously the reason why they are above us. But we do have better goal difference for now, we've scored more goals. Uh, we've actually conceded a few more though at the same time as well, so that's definitely somewhere where we can improve. Uh, but hopefully going to try and overtake them uh, as soon as possible, ideally uh, after this next game, but it really depends how we get on. Ideally in the next couple of league games, but we'll have to wait and see how we get on next episode. Uh, obviously got one more final game to play before we end today's episode, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves a win there as well. So play drills though first, Ribeiro goes up to 62 overall this time around, he's a centre forward for us, a uh, guy from our youth academy, I don't think we've actually promoted him yet, I'm pretty sure he's still in there, and uh, he's going up to 62 overall this week, which is obviously very good. Some more drills before this game against Atletico Madrid, plenty of attributes going up in overall uh, this week, but no actual changes in overall. Well, it's getting quite close to 78 overall, but uh, no real changes, sadly, this week. We have got this game against Atletico Madrid now. We're on the exact same amount of points, just ahead of them on goal difference. Um, obviously, if we were to drop points here uh, in, a, in some sort of loss, then, of course, we would go down uh, to third place in the league. So, hopefully, that doesn't happen. Got to get ourselves a win. Uh, a win here would actually give us a chance of potentially overtaking Real Madrid, dependent on their result as well. On to the game now against Atletico Madrid. Obviously, going with a very strong team. Literally, just one change from the last team they put out. Delafeo comes in. We'll rotate it around a little bit. Dembele will drop out of the team. 
not for any other reason other than the fact that Delafeo has to start this game. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, obviously not ideal, but uh, Dembele will come on at some point anyway as fresh legs. So I expect him to probably make an impact in that capacity rather than from the starting 11 as he did in the last game. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, obviously a big game, a huge match for us, a very good team as well. So uh, it's going to be a very tough game, but we'll have to wait and see exactly how we cope with uh, what they're going to throw at us. Okay, let's kick off this match uh, with Suarez here going to take kick off and let's see how he gets on against Lazio Madrid. Like I said before, a very tough team. So I'm expecting a tough game at the same time and we'll have to wait and see whether we can cope. We've got more quality in terms of names on the pitch but it's whether you can go out there and perform. It's obviously a very uh, tight game I expect this one to be. Not really expecting to score uh, four goals or have six goals in the match at, at all in this game. I think it'll be much closer than that. Uh, maybe just a couple of goals in it. De La Feo giving some space here to come inside. A bit strange start from Atletico Madrid. Hit the post early on as well inside the first five minutes. Can't believe the amount of time De La Feo had on the left-hand side there. Such a good opportunity. Thought we would have gone one nil up already though. God, Suarez left foot from range. In fact, it's his right foot. I uh, don't really know why I took it on his right foot, but uh, we'll... Yeah, we'll move on from that. Not a good strike at all. Delafoe trying to get around Savage. He has done. Delafoe now cutting it back. Rakitic. Oh, hits the post again. This time the opposite post. And it's still nil-nil somehow. No idea how he's not managed to finish that off. Simple opportunity. Great cutback. Don't know how we've managed to not find the back of the net there. Still raising nil-nil. Ten minutes left of the first half. And as I suspected, it's quite a cagey game. Should have probably already been a couple of goals, though, especially for us. We've had two good opportunities ourselves. Could probably be 2-0 up here, but hasn't quite happened. Still 10 minutes left of the first half, though, to try and find a couple of goals. Suarez over to Delafeu. Great pass. Delafeu's through. It has to be a goal here. Delafeu. Yes, he does. He makes it 1-0. Five minutes left of the first half, and Delafeu has opened up the scoring finally. Uh, managed to get ourselves a great opportunity. Great running behind, though, but it's mainly down to the fact that Atletico Madrid's defence and the fullbacks just seem too far up the pitch. They just seem to be so high up the pitch or so tucked in, whatever it is, um, that they just don't seem to ever cover our wingers, which is obviously great for us. allows us to get through so easily, and Delafeu's had a couple of chances. This time he scores uh, this opportunity, and he makes it 1-0. But every time he seems to be just getting through past that right back. Suarez onto Messi. Good layoff there. Messi now going to maybe have to go alone unless he can wait for someone. Messi coming inside. Oh, tried to play it inside there to Darfeo. And it's so close. Pretty much at half time now, though. Then we get this one straight and actually Rakitic not going to play it short this time. Busquets is in there, connects with it well, actually, at the front post. But uh, couldn't quite direct it on target. That's it for the first half. Still won the game 1 0. Thought it would be a narrow one uh, going into the half time break. Even though we have had good opportunities, we could actually be 3 0 up at this point. Uh, we, it was always going to be a tough match. Um, I actually expected maybe it to be a little bit tougher than it has been. Uh, like I said, I've had a, quite a few decent clear cut opportunities, but unable to take some of them. Hitting the post twice as well has, has been um, some of the main highlights for us so far in that first half. I expect that we can add to the scoreline. Got to make sure that we prevent any counter attacks from Atletico Madrid, which is the way that every team is, is getting us to be honest. Rakitic into Suarez. Great run from Suarez, waiting for a cutback if he can find one. Still going, ran into a big crowd, though you can see the amount of players that they have back. And Delafeu trying to keep hold of it. Alba now getting forward as well to help out. Iniesta with a chance, though. Again, opened up for him, completely free as well, but on his left foot, hits it really poorly and over the bar. For some reason, the team names have just been <laughs> got rid of. I don't know why that's happened, but... We now are playing without any team names on the scoreboard. Again, going to make the two changes that we often make. Uh, Gomez and Paulino are going to come on. About 30 minutes left of this game. Rakitic and Iniesta coming off. Those guys are good, but to be honest, in this game, they haven't been great as, you, as they usually are. They've got, they've got quite tired. The shooting's not been great. Um, obviously, Rakitic having a couple of chances. Iniesta the same as well. Uh, so we are going to freshen that up a little bit. Go with some fresh legs in there. Uh, hopefully, a bit more quality as well. But a bit more form in this match, let's say. Because uh, obviously, we know the guys that have gone off there are very good players. But just in this match, not quite uh, taking the chances that they've had. Paulinho looks to Suarez. Great pass. Suarez now got one more defender to beat. He's going to try and get round him on his left foot as well. Hits it really cleanly, but actually it's uh, not quite on target, sadly. I was aiming for the target, of course, but unable to find it. And actually, it's a corner. Must have taken a deflection of some sort. Didn't see any, but uh, we'll take it anyway. And we've scored. We've got the second. It's a headed goal. Not too sure who it is. He's got on the end of it, but he's managed to put it past the goalkeeper. Don't usually score uh, headed goals from corners at all. It's Messi who's done it, of all people, uh, which is very, very strange. 25 minutes left. Messi beats his man to it and scores a header. Don't think I'll say that too many times during this series, but... 25 minutes to go, doubled our lead, and that now puts us in a great position uh, going into the final 25 minutes of this game. You can just see Messi in the middle there, makes a, a good run into the box, I suppose, beats two men to it somehow. Uh, not the most realistic of goals, but we'll happily take it. The keeper should probably do better. It is right at him, basically, uh, but unable to get there, unable to react quick enough, and it finds the back of the net. 2-0. Delafeo running forward. It's a great run on the left-hand side from him. Delafeo now going to 
play into the box. It was supposed to be into the box anyway. It's more of the outside of the box than anything. Now Paulinho is still involved here. Messi looking to drift inside as he usually does on his left foot. No gap opening though. Gomez switching it across now. De Busquets now onto De La Feu for a cross into the middle. What a ball in. Paulinho, got to be three. It is. He's not even offside as well. Made his way into the box. And it's a fantastic volley. Fully deserved as well. Kept hold possession brilliantly. Switched it across the pitch. And we've managed to get ourselves a good ball in that Paulinho has finished off brilliantly. Look at this from De La Feu. Good left footed ball in. No stopping that. And the defender go go I think it was, couldn't keep hold of him. Paulinho finishes it off, and that is the sort of quality we needed off the bench. 3 0. Starting to run away with this game a little bit more now with 20 minutes to go. Atletico Madrid starting to crumble as they throw more players forward, of course. Inevitably, their defence is always going to weaken at that point. Uh, but really happy with our performance, especially that last goal. It's probably one of my favourites that we've scored uh, during this series. Great bit of play, uh, switching across the sides, and that delivery was brilliant from Delafeo, who has looked again fantastic for us, making a great run. This time, trying to come inside. Any opportunity for a cutback? And the pass wasn't quite there, didn't quite open up as I'd hoped. Uh, Gomez will keep hold of it though into Suarez and uh, actually I didn't realize Suarez had got on the end of that Interesting change for Atletico Madrid here bringing on a centre-back taking off a centre-back basically keeping things the same Not over yet though Gaetan going for a shot it was a good one on his left foot to be fair to him but uh, a bit too far out I think to trouble to stay in that much Messi switches it over what a pass that is to De La Feo. again the same issue for Atletico Madrid unable to follow uh, De La Feo every single time during this match so far the cutback again couldn't quite find anyone though the switch again on to De La Feo. Now he's going to play it back across to Gomez. It has to be a fourth. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Just needs to slot it into the left-hand side there. But it's right at our black who saves really easily. Should have been 4-0. A couple of minutes left of this game. And there might still be a fourth goal in there, actually. And that's a 3-0 victory for us. Really, really happy with that result. Actually made it look more comfortable than I was expecting it to be. Let's go Madrid not having that many chances. Uh, certainly not in that second half, anyway. Thought they'd have loads more than they did. And they didn't really trouble us at all at the back. So, very happy with that. Two shots, two on target for them. And if anything, it was probably an easier game than the last one that we had against Las Palmas, who just seemed to attack and, and score very um, very frequently. They seemed to take the chances. Very clinical side. I was expecting a much more difficult game uh, in that match we just had there. Delighted, though, to get ourselves three points. Now we'll wait and see what the Real Madrid uh, result is before we end today's episode. As you can see, Real Madrid again winning their match, continue their winning a streak of eight games in the league so far, winning every match. Uh, we've managed to extend our goal difference lead over them, but at the moment we are looking, obviously, to try and overtake them in terms of points, not just by goals. But uh, yeah, frustrating that it's not going to happen just yet, but there's still time. We've obviously got to play them. We're only eight games in, so um, although I do want to be top of the league for as long as possible, we'll have to wait, I think, until we play them to have a real chance of being able to overtake them. On some player drills before we end today's episode here, let's see how we get on this week. Exactly the same players. Uh, again, a few stats going up and Wallace goes up in fact to 78 overall as well which is great news uh, seeing him grow obviously one of our newer signings that we made in the summer uh, happy to see him going up in overall already uh, but that's everything for today's episode thank you all so much for watching thank you uh, for the, all the support on the videos as well I really do appreciate it let's try and hit 100 likes on today's episode and that'd be absolutely fantastic uh, don't forget if you're new to the channel or if you haven't decided to do it yet please go ahead hit that subscribe button as well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic really do appreciate it if you could go ahead and do that and uh, Facecam should be returning fairly soon hopefully uh, still trying to get things set up and, and still trying to get the lighting right and everything uh, just so it looks right uh, for, the, for you guys watching and um, so hopefully that'll be back in the next few days thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye yeah.